This device right here looks like a USB drive, but it is definitely something more than that. In fact, it's actually a keyboard that can also store some data. I mean, not too much data, but enough of it so that it can do its job. It's called a USB rubber ducky and it is produced and sold by Hack5. It has become quite popular since the time it was featured on the TV show Mr. Robot. It's an awesome series by the way. And yes, as you can obviously see, it's not a usual keyboard. There are no keys because this is a programmable device, which means you can actually instruct it what keys to send when it is connected to a computer. And it will automatically send the keys that are pre-programmed inside it as soon as it's connected to any device. Now, what is its use case? Well, it's actually designed for red teamers to do tasks like security auditing. So basically when you plug this into a computer, it gets recognized as a keyboard. And the general nature of computers is that they trust keyboards because keyboards are the peripheral devices that humans generally used to communicate with a computer. So it's a natural trait or a natural um, feature for any computer to trust a keyboard, to support and trust a keyboard. And USB rubber ducky exploits this. Since the keys that are to be sent are already pre-programmed in this device, it's going to automatically inject these keys as soon as it's connected to the computer. And this can be used for a ton of things. I mean, there are countless things to exploit with this. And you can even use it as an automation tool. Before going any further, I would like to just make it very clear to you that this video is only for educational purpose. All the experiments and demonstrations shown in this video are performed in a controlled lab environment. If you want to get some hands on with this tool, you can try it on yourself, but do not use it to get into others' computers, at least not without their consent. It is an illegal activity, it's a crime, and you will be in trouble if you do so. So be careful and be responsible. So the way this works is you basically write a ducky script, which is very easy to learn and understand. So you basically tell it what keys to press. For example, I'm writing a simple script that will hold control R to bring up the run menu and then type in notepad.exe to open notepad and then write the string hello world. Now I'll need to encode this ducky script into a binary file and this can be done by making use of the ducky encoder web app hosted by Hack5. Or you can even do it locally by using ducky encoder. But using web app is easier because you don't have to download anything to your computer and I prefer that. Now the binary file is named as inject.bin. So you place this binary file on the memory card of the rubber ducky and you can basically write to this memory card by just inserting it into a card reader. Now that I've copied the inject.bin into the memory card, I will insert back the memory card into the rubber ducky. And now when you insert the ducky into a computer, it does its job and as you can see, it opens up notepad and types in hello world. Awesome, now you get the idea of it. The next experiment I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get a reverse shell from my target machine which is my laptop running Windows 10 to my computer, which is also running Windows 10. So in this case, my laptop is the target machine and my computer is the attacker machine or the hacker machine. By getting a reverse shell to the target, a hacker can basically do anything. He can read files, he can write files, he can run new processes and all that. So let's try it. So there's this public GitHub repository of famous ducky scripts and payloads and there is a remote access script called reverse ducky2. So I'm gonna use this script instead of writing one of my own. So I just have to change the attacker's IP and the port. So for the IP, I'm gonna put in my ngrock hostname because it's practical to be able to access the reverse shell from the internet. But if the target machine is on the same network, I can just put in my local IP. But just for demonstration, I'm gonna put in my ngrock hostname in here, which is actually tunneled to my netcat listener. Perfect, that's all I will need to change in the script. Now I'll just encode the script and then download the inject.pin and now I'll simply move this into my ducky memory card. All right, let me now go ahead and plug in the USB rubber ducky into my laptop and let's see if it works. So as you can see, it did something. It actually opened a hidden PowerShell window so that you can't see what it's typing. But anyway, it seems like it's done its job. Now let's check the listener on the attacker machine. And there we go we now have a reverse shell. So now I can access my laptop remotely from the attacker machine. So I can read files, write files, run other programs, download files remotely into my machine, and basically do anything as the logged in user 
on my laptop it's like i'm having a remote connection to my laptop and i'm able to do anything now sometimes the windows defender comes in the way and blocks whatever it is that you're trying to do for example if you're trying to spawn up a reverse shell the windows defender might actually block it because it's obviously malicious and it can be used by attackers to exploit your system so that's a good thing for the user but there is a way you can actually disable or turn off the windows defender by using the rubber ducky so there is this ducky script on the same public github repo and using this you can actually disable or turn off the windows defender so i'm going to try this script to turn off the windows defender on my laptop so i encoded the script and placed the binary in the ducky and i'm going to now insert it into my laptop and let's see what happens so as you can see it is making some changes to my registry and it swiftly disables the windows defender permanently which is really scary i mean the whole process only took about 25 to 30 seconds so all a hacker needs to do is to get your attention to distract you for 30 seconds and boom your defender is turned off leaving your computer unprotected now the hacker can run any other malicious script using the same rubber ducky so obviously you can do a ton of things using the rubber ducky and it's just not practical to demonstrate all the use cases in this video because there are just countless exploits that you can build using the rubber ducky for example you can even um, download something from the internet using the ducky script and then run the downloaded file for example let's say a metasploit payload and this adds more functionality and more creativity to your exploits for sure and one more thing is that you can even flash the firmware of usb rubber ducky and you can install you know other community provided firmwares like for example there's this firmware called twin duck wherein the rubber ducky can act both as a keyboard and as a storage device so you can basically save files like exploits on the rubber ducky itself so that they can be readily deployed by the ducky script so the next time you're inserting a usb or any external device into your computer think twice do you really trust it and definitely do not take any chances because you just saw how easy and how quick it is for hackers to take over your computers and steal your files and other critical assets be safe so thanks for watching this video i hope you like it if you did like it please don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and also leave a comment down it really helps me to get more views so i would appreciate it if you leave a like and also a comment and if you did not subscribe yet please do hit that subscribe button for more such content and also make sure you turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel so i'll see you in the next video until then cheers